What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. In today's video, we're doing a good old fashioned feeding video. I just said video twice. Anyhow, you get what I'm trying to say. And no, not is taking a poop on me, so I'm just gonna put her back. That sucks. Ew, welcome to keeping pets, my friends. You know, the one time I thought it'd be fun to have a gecko in my hand while I'm doing the intro, that happens. You're right. But I'm just gonna keep this hand down here and roll with it. So, for today's question of the day, I wanna ask you all. Do you have a favorite pet? And if so, what is that animal and why? Let me know in the comment section down below and as always, I'll give your comment a heart and we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation. All right guys, let's get right into the feeding video. All right guys, so here's Pingu. Let's go ahead and take a look. If you're wondering how I set up her enclosure, I actually have a bunch of videos you can check out here to see that. But yeah, here is my beautiful girl, Pingu. Let's see if she'll take one. Pingu, look what I got for you. Over right here. Come on. Pingu. Oh, almost. There you go, girl. You got it. Mm -mm. She loves her supers. All right, we're gonna feed Nona next, who lives in here. Okay, Mademoiselle, climbing up your vines, I see. Come on. There we go. Hey, beautiful girl, let's give you some diet. All right guys, so I've prepared some diet for Jabba and Leela, and then I prepared this diet here for Nona. So I think at some point I'm gonna make a video about this, how you can learn to interact with your crested gecko and just sort of build a bit of trust between you and the animal. But yeah, I just, I've kind of built the habit of feeding my geckos like this once in a while. So let's see if Nona would like some diet. There you go, beautiful. Definitely enjoying that. Aren't you, Nona? Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> she loves it. You gonna swallow that first? Would you like a bit more? Here. So as you can see, doing this every few weeks, doesn't even have to be every few days. Really build trust with your animal. So if that's something you wanna learn about, uh, we can definitely do that in a future video. Just let me know. Are you done? Should I put the rest in your tank? All right, Nona, let's get you back home. Okay. Go ahead. Hoppla. The satanic leaf tail geckos have been doing awesome in their quarantine bins. If you want to learn more about why they're in there, check out the link up above in the top right corner. Well, you know how important it is for me to offer variety to my pets. Here I'm going to be giving the satanic leaf tail geckos metamorphosed wax worms. These are wax moths. So let's see how they like these little fluttering morsels.
right, guys, it's time to feed everybody's favorite tree monitor, Sabzi. Let's see. I was thinking we could use his bird nest here and put a few crickets in it so that he could go explore it and find them. Guys, so these are my crocodile skinks. This is Sappy, the female. She's just hanging out here, beautiful as ever, wondering if I'm gonna feed her. Sunny somewhere. They have some intricate tunnels that weave through the enclosure. But I wanted to point something out to you guys. A few months ago, you may have recalled that I found an egg in this exact spot. And it was very much the same color and texture as this wood almost. Well, guys, you can even see it in the frame. If you take a look in this back corner here, you'll actually see that there is another egg nestled under the wood there, which will be baby number three in the enclosure if all goes well. So, Sappy and Sunny are busy at work producing new offspring, which is super cool. Also guys, again, sorry about the reflection. I wanted to uh, acknowledge that I saw all the comments asking me to do a video on how I tamed or sort of trained my crocodile skinks to be, well, this tame. There you go, girl. So rest assured, we're gonna do a video on that soon. I will say the technique isn't that much different than anything else I've shown you with, say, tokes and such, but it's a little different. So we're going to go ahead and do a thorough video on how I got my crocodile skinks to be a little more tolerant of my presence, you could say. All right, I'm going to drop a few more crickets in here. Oh, she got it. Good job, Sappy. We have a baby in the background. You can kind of see their head poking out there. Ooh, making sure the crickets are well chewed. You can see a bit of orange in there because they've been eating sweet potato as part of their gut load. <laughs> oh, there goes a baby bolted by in the background. They're probably looking for the crickets too. Oh, that is a risky move, cricket. Oh, there's baby in the back. <laughs> Just ran by. Now you guys probably understand why it's so hard to film them. They're very shy animals. That cricket's not gonna last very long. And there's another baby. That's the youngest one. All right, I'm just gonna dump a bunch of crickets in here. 
see what they make of it. I'm gonna go for the crickets. Oh, it looks like baby in the background's trying. Yep. Baby just grabbed one. See, they don't care. They'll go for big crickets. They're very opportunistic, but then they'll, you'll, as you saw, they'll chew like Sappy was doing and really just chew them to a pulp and then they're good to go down. Well, you guys know who's next. Everybody's favorite Tokyo okay, Gecko. Tiki. Come on, buddy. Now, although Toke geckos are nocturnal, there's one sure way we can get them to come out, and that's definitely by using some food. So let's go ahead now and offer these guys some crickets. Nice, Tiki. Miss Cheeks. Let's give him his favorite food. <laughs> Buddy, how's that? Is that tasty? All right, guy, okay. let's go. Back we go inside. Oh man, exciting news ahead for these guys. Just you wait and see. Everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching this feeding video. It's always a blast getting to show you all a lot of my animals and watching them do the thing we love watching them do, eat. It's really interesting. And yeah, with that being said, 
Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe and healthy. As always, if you'd like to support this channel further, I have my merch store linked down below, as well as my Patreon. If you guys want to see more feeding videos, check out the link up above. And I look forward to seeing you all on Tuesday. Take care, everybody.